Well, Samsung introduced here at CTIA this week the brand new Samsung Galaxy S. This represents a whole new class of smartphones, and it is a beauty. This has a super AMOLED screen. We've taken our best-in-class AMOLED screen, we've made it 20% brighter, we've made it 80% less reflective, and we've made it more responsive to the touch. And speaking of responsiveness, one of the other things that makes this phone really responsive is what's under the hood here. And that is a one gigahertz processor made by Samsung, optimized for this phone. The phone is just basically made to be beautiful. You can see the texturing that's actually under the first layer of coating of the, of the phone on the back. So it's a very beautiful back. And while we're talking about the back, that is a five megapixel camera that shoots HD video as well at 720p. The, uh, the phone shares video uh, via the uh, AllShare program, which is part of our DLNA convergence technology from Samsung, where you can actually take what you shoot on this phone and put it up on the television wirelessly. The Samsung Galaxy S has a social hub application that actually aggregates all of your social media sites, all your social media contacts from uh, Outlook with ActiveSync to Facebook to Twitter and it puts them all in one place. So it really is about making your life simple. When you're texting with the Samsung Galaxy S, you can use Swipe. Swipe allows you to just drag your finger along the keyboard and write words. You don't have to lift your finger up and punch every time you want to make a new word. And so that's the uh, Swipe technology. With Swipe, you can actually type about 30% faster than just regular uh, entry on a uh, touchscreen phone. An exciting feature of this phone is the Layar browser, which uses uh, uh, location-based services that allows you to use the camera. You can point it at various different buildings, and it'll tell you what businesses are inside. If it's a restaurant, it'll give you the phone number. It'll bring up the menu. It's quite an exciting bit of technology that's available on the Samsung Galaxy S. Smart Life is the life you get with the Samsung Galaxy S. This is a, a, a single device that can wake you up in the morning with an alarm clock. Before you even roll out of bed, you can get your daily briefing, which has your, uh, your stocks, the news that you want to follow, and it even has the weather so you know what to wear before you ever get out of bed. And it takes you on through the day with Social Hub, with uh, the camera, the video, all of the features that this has, it makes your life very smart. The home screens on the Samsung Galaxy S are TouchWiz 3.0. You can add and remove widgets and applications and put them up on the desktop where they're very easy to get to, very quick to get to. And you can set up up to five desktops. So you could have a social media desktop, a productivity desktop, uh, one that would be for home use. Uh, and it has up to five of them, fully customizable. And that's because it's running TouchWiz 3.0. The Samsung AMOLED screen, those last three letters, LED, they are related to our television screen technology. And this one is a beautiful four inch screen. That's uh, one of the larger screens out there and it is definitely the largest Super AMOLED screen that's on the market. My personal favorite feature on this phone is the screen. Here is a video that's being shown and look at how crisp it is and beautiful and bright. You could even enjoy watching a full length movie outdoors on this Super AMOLED screen that's on the Samsung Galaxy S. It's running on Android 2.1. So it's an outstanding operating system, and it's thin. It's 9.9 .9 millimeters thin. It's probably the thinnest full-feature smartphone on the market. 
that's the Galaxy S made by Samsung.